Chellos, Julian Keeling here, associate broker with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Town Realty, located right on the coast in beautiful Hampton Roads, Virginia. Welcome to chapter 112 in my first time home buying series. And today I'm going to discuss how to buy a house with no down payment. Yes, that is correct. You can still buy a house and utilize 100% financing and not have a down payment. Be sure to stay tuned to the end as I will have money saving bonus tips throughout as I'm always presenting you with options and producing results. Let's jump right in. The first option that you have, if you're buying in Virginia and you're a first time home buyer, you can utilize the VHDA FHA Plus Combo Loan. VHDA stands for Virginia Housing and Development Authority. It starts off with a base loan of 96.5% financing through the FHA, which is the Federal Housing and Development Authority, and then you would still need a 3.5% down payment. This is where the VHDA part of it kicks in, in which the VHDA will give you the 3.5% down payment as well as a few extra percent to help you in covering your closing costs. Combining these two loan types together would get you to 100% financing in which you wouldn't have a down payment. Even though your down payment is taken care of in the loan, you still would probably need some extra funds for your closing costs. Closing costs will typically run about 3 to to three and a half percent of whatever the sales price is. Depending upon whatever your local market is, you may actually be able to negotiate for the seller to pay some or all of these closing costs for you. For example, if you find yourself in a seller's market in which there are less homes on the market and more buyers, then the sellers are going to be less inclined to help you out with your buyer's closing costs simply because they don't really have to. Now in a buyer's market, when the opposite is true, sellers tend to be more flexible and willing to help out buyers with their closing costs. In a buyer's market, you will have more leverage over the concessions that you may be able to get. Bonus tip, be sure to ask your loan officer about the Mortgage Credit Certificate, or MCC. If you're utilizing a VHDA FHA combo loan, this is a dollar for dollar tax credit that you can use to help offset any taxes that you may owe. The MCC is a great tool for saving money with your first home, and all you have to do is have your loan officer to set it up prior to closing. Actually, if you'd like to know more, please comment with a yes down below. The second loan type that you have that is 100% financing and not requiring a down payment is the VA loan. The VA stands for Veterans Administration and is available to you if you are currently in the military or have previously served in one of the branches of the armed forces. This is a great benefit for having honorably served in our military. If you're a first time home buyer and VA eligible, I would suggest having your loan officer to compare the loan programs for you side by side to see which one may be the better fit for you. Bonus tip, if you are VHDA and VA eligible, you can actually combine the two loans together. Now you may be wondering, well, why would I wanna put the two together because they are both 100% financing? And the answer is, if you combine the VHDA with the VA loan, having the VHDA part of it will actually give you help with your closing costs. This may be a way for you to come up with little to no closing costs out of pocket. Bonus tip two for VA loans. Did you know that if you need help paying off or paying down some of the debt on your credit report, that you can actually do this within a VA loan? For example, the loan officer says you need to pay off your car note and there's a balance of $1,000. You can actually ask the seller to contribute $1,000 in seller concessions, and this can be used to pay off your car notes. If the seller agrees to this concession, it is fully allowable through the VA loan. In fact, this is the only loan in which the seller can pay off or pay down some of the buyer's debt. The third option for a no down payment loan would be the USDA loan. When most people think of USDA, they do think of a more rural type of setting, which it is for, but there are also a lot of areas that aren't exactly rural that you would normally think of that would actually qualify for USDA financing. Therefore, I would suggest that you double check in whatever local 
locality that you may be trying to buy in to see if it might qualify for USDA financing. Bonus tip! VHDA offers down payment and closing cost assistance grants. Don't forget to ask your loan officer if you may be able to qualify for any of these grants. The grants can be utilized in conjunction with any of the previous loans that I've mentioned. If you can utilize a grant, it's free money and it doesn't have to be paid back. If you would like to know more in-depth information on the VHDA loan, be sure to check out my previous video that I'll link down below in the description that goes over everything VHDA loans. If you like what you saw and learned a little something along the way, please be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with a friend or family member that you think may find the info helpful. Please also consider subscribing and comment below with any questions that you may have. Thank you again for watching and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye!